literally got the front spot. The door's right here. <laughs> it's so cold. It's cold in here because of the ice rink and the skiing and snowboarding. That's upstairs. It's so cold. I see some roller coasters. So even though he's a Nickelodeon person, he made me wear this shirt. And I don't even think that I can name a single character. Um, he can name all of them, look. Wow. So the water park is right there. And there's a candy store there. And then right next to it is Nickelodeon Universe, which is where we're going. We're in for good now. Green 
one just flew by. All right, so we're about to go on a roller coaster that's just like lap track in Hershey Park. It spins while you go on it, and Morgan loves rides like these. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for our reaction to it. <laughs> so something that's really cool that they do is they give you this bracelet that you use for the locker. So basically you scan your bracelet, and then they tell you what locker number it is, and then you put yours up there. Then to come redeem your stuff, you scan it again, and the door just opens. So you don't even have to remember your locker number. No! Sorry. Okay, that one was crazy. It whips you around so fast. I think it was kind of better than the lap track. I lap track too. Five, it's like in the dark. Yeah. Like the theme of lap track is better, but that one was a better coaster. I thought. Definitely, so much better. So Avatar. That's it. Look at the jellyfish. I'm gonna go on this later. Yeah, there's a huge lot. upper level to this. I want to go on the upper one. This is the Shimmer and Shine ride. <laughs> there they are. We're trying to go on this big green one. Oh, that goes high up. I want to know how big of a drop that is. I think that was the craziest roller coaster we've ever been on. Like ever. Yeah, I would say so. We thought that you go up first. Basically, you go down under everything and then it shoots you out like King of the Cop. Look up King of the Cop if you don't know what that is. Like Rock and Roll Coaster, it just shoots you out. And we had no idea that that was even happening. We did probably like six loops. <laughs> Got tossed around and then we went up the, the hill. Then you go over the hill and they stop you and you're at like a 45 degree angle. It feels like you're going over and it slams on the brakes and it stops. Right as you go over. And you're hanging completely you're hanging over. And there, there's windows up there and you can see the New York City skyline. You can see like everything up there. And then within like 10 seconds it just releases it. And, and then you, you enter to, to a curve that yeah, curve it. And then you do crazy more. That hurt my head so bad. Yeah, it did. Like so bad. There's the train. Also, yeah, you don't have to wear masks here. And now we're going on that drop ride with our couple lockers. Scared to shoot you up. Let's see. Let's see how I do. So, right after we got off of that drop one, we went on the Jimmy Neutron one that spins and you like get to control it with like a, like a joystick. Yeah, that's what you can control. You can pull it back, you can go back, you do back flips, you push it front, you do front flips. You gave us I, a headache. Yeah, I could have kept going, but Morgan's like, no, 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 yeah, no. Skyliner one. Oh, the one that shoots you up? I was really scared at first because it is really high up when you're standing there and you're looking straight up. But you get to the top and there's characters all the way around the top. There's SpongeBob yeah, Sponge, and Patrick. SpongeBob and Patrick. You guys travel way to the top and then SpongeBob and Patrick are at the window to greet you. Like, Hello. And it's all open. You can see the city skyline. So now we're actually about to go on this ride right here. Skateboarding. We're about to go on the skateboarding ride. We love skateboarding. I'm very excited. Let's go. Why not? Get into the ride, made it all the way through the line with no mask and got all the way to the top. So, if you 
are someone that's worried about COVID, if you're someone that's worried about social distancing and the way an amusement park enforces it, I would not recommend coming here. No one really seems to care. It's a free for all. There are markers on the floor. I don't know if people just don't see them. I think they don't know what it means, maybe. And no one's here to tell anyone otherwise. I'm like this the whole time. I feel like I'm like, I don't know. So just a warning, if you're gonna come here, be prepared to be stepped on, stood on top of. I do have to say though, the later it gets, the less crowded it gets. So early in the morning, I think everyone just comes right when they open and it's definitely more crowded. The wait times are a lot worse. And then as it gets a little bit later, I think it, it starts to clear up a little bit. I don't know if I said this before, there's no re-entry at all. So once you're out, you're out. You can't come back in. But you get nachos, pretzels, some sandwiches, salads. If you do, tell them that if you do want to come here though, the one four hour session is fine through the whole park. Yes, 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 yes. We did a nine hour session, which we realize now is a mistake. Because we're leaving, what, three hours away? Yeah. And we got here like an hour, two hours late. Honestly, it's probably less crowded when you do the four hour session because they break it up. They do an hour in the middle where they clean. So they have a morning session and then a night session. When we first came here and we were just talking to the lady outside, yeah. I thought they were going to be way more strict. They, they were making it so like they sophisticated were and so put together. We were up and right outside. We're looking and we first came here to see what it, what it was about. We were like, this seems like a put together amusement park. They probably enforce everything. It's time to put the entrance, put your mask on, and then you walk in and everything COVID disappears when you're here. They just film the, the line. <laughs> Everyone just stands right on top of each other. That's what you want to do. Come, come to the American dream. You can literally see cars driving on the expressway right there. This was one of our favorite rides, so we're gonna have to give it another go as it's starting to get Number later. Two, a kid with fairy godparents can't tell anyone that they exist. Well, the lights are starting to glow. Look how dark it is up there at night. It's not even fully dark out yet. Oh my God. Now we're in box lunch, had to stop off in the first section. We walk in. Dangled. Like two, do you guys think I could fit into this? Disneyland, wow. 